Um, welcome back to uh, Yusuf's uh, Spiral Stairs Part 2. Part 2. I'm going to get to I'm gonna mention this one more time. It's my birthday today. 55 years old. I'm a senior citizen and blah, blah, blah. Got a big weekend planned with a wife, I think. I don't know. But I'm going to do, I'm gonna do uh, uh, Yusuf's Spiral Stairs now. And as I said before, when I do my when I do my stairs, I can only do I can have to do less than 360 degrees. I can't go in the full circle. Yusuf's figure out a way to to build these stairs in a full circle around many 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 many, many times. This is Yusuf's spiral stairs. You'll notice I'm going to tell you there are 33 treads here. What don't I like about Yusuf's method? First of all, the edges of these treads aren't curved. They're not curved. And that goes back to my initial, if you watch part one, how you do, you, you make them out of pieces and you get them curved. But I don't think you can curve these things. Oh, wait. I think you might be able to curve these things if you put them within a wall and you make them winders. And then now the treads will be will be curved, but then you have to turn the walls off and blah. Yeah, screw it. So it depends upon how accurate you want to be. I mean, you know. And if you and if if you look at these stairs, what can you do with uh, use of stairs? Let's just talk about what you can do, and I'll, I'll show, and then I'll show you how to make this thing. Let me start my timer because I know this is going to twenty minutes because I'm so good at going way over at the time. But anyway, if I go to style, I can go to uh, 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 oh, I don't know. There now I have the uh, the treads on either side. Chief has to do something about these stupid stairs. I mean, we all complain about how useless they are. They're so. Well, we can get by with them, but look, th three stringers. Maybe I want four stringers. Maybe I want only two stringers. Maybe I don't want one in the center. Why can't I do that? I mean, this, and, and why can't this, this stuff in plan view look decent with with guardrails? I don't know. Come on, I and mean, this is—I mean, you, you look at soft plan stuff. Their stairs look pretty good, I think. Open underneath. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Do you, you know? I mean, you can do a lot of stuff with these stairs that you can do with normal stairs. You guys understand that. So style, I can turn off the style, and uh, it's it's it's, op it's, op it's open underneath, open risers. I guess that's what I'm doing, huh? And then you go. You, the final final one thing is uh, uh, style is a uh, 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 single stringer. What size stringer is that? I don't know. Now I'm going to show you how Yusuf does it. I'm going to show you how Yusuf does it. F6. F6, there it is right there. I am going to put a set of spiral stairs right here. This is how I'm about to do use this method. Here's use this method. How he came up with that, I don't know. Uh, K, K, draw a circle. I want a six foot set of spiral stairs, U, U. Uh, diameter six foot, 72 inches, done. I'm gonna turn this into a, uh, a polyline, but I will only want uh, 12. I want 12 size to it, 12. Why do I choose 12? Because typically in a, a 360 degree spiral stairs, you have a total of 12 treads, 12 tw treads. So now I'm gonna put my stairs right into there, okay? Now I'm gonna draw a set of stairs. Here we go. A uh, set of stairs come across like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Wait a second, wait a second. You, you, how many treads do I want when I build this thing? How many treads do I want? I want to lock the number. Of, I want to lock the number of treads, and I want to change it to eleven. I want to change it to eleven. I am telling you right now, the choice of no, of, of eleven treads is not magic. There is a. It's definitely a reason. Why did I choose eleven? Uh, eleven, because there's twelve treads in a three hundred and sixty degree circle. Suppose your tread your your stair company says there's fourteen. There's 14 treads in a 360 degree circle. Number of treads is 13. The number of treads here is one less than the number of treads here in the circle. Why? I don't know. But uh, Yusuf figured it out, okay? And I'm doing, and so, and so here's the stairs right here. You see what's going on. So, so now Yusuf would say, all right, let's now make this very small. Now these stairs are only two inches wide. For you Aussies, that's 5.04 inches. Uh, 5.04 5 centimeters, 5.04 centimeters. I'm going to turn off my, uh, I'm going to turn off my, uh, let's see if I can, this is the tricky part right here. I'm going to turn off my uh, angle snaps. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to, uh, no, I'm going to do it right now. 09 point to point. 09 point to point. 
there. Select this. Notice what I just did. I'm going I'm to tell you right now. Listen to this. Listen to this. There are 11 treads. I'm going to end up with 33 treads. This is the goal. I'm going to end up with 33 treads. And you're going to say, well, I don't want 33. I want only 32. I'm going to show you how to get rid of one. And then you're going to say, no, I don't want 32. I want uh, 23. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of all of them except for 23 of them. And then you're going to say, no, I want only, instead of, uh, I only want 21. I'm going to say, I can't do it. I'm going to have to start over again. I have to do something different. What I'm telling you is the number of treads is based on what we're talking about right here. I got 11 treads, right? Uh, in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this over here. Uh, Control C, Control V, put it over here. What I'm telling you is with this right here, uh, 11, a factor of 11. 11 times 2 is 22. So I can... what. The way I'm going to do it is uh, I'm going to give you the option to have, uh, there's 11 treads right here. I'm going to turn into three segments here. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to do it right now. Uh, I turn it into a, a curve. Now I'm going to turn it into three segments, three segments. One, two, three. This is the magic. Now this is, you have to pay attention to this. This is not, this is, there's, how Yusuf came up with that, this, I do not know. But I'm telling you, each one of these segments that right here has to have 11 treads. Not 10, not 12, not 15, but 11. Why 11? Because I predetermined that I'm going to have 12 treads on this circle. So each one of these segments has 11. And thank goodness, I think 99% uh, of the stairs you're going to work with will have uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 treads. 12 treads. So just figure on 11 segment, 11 treads on a segment, 11, 11, 11. Now the question is, how many treads can I have? And when, when I'm going to build this set of stairs, how many treads am I going to have? I'm going to tell you, I can, I can change it from 33 treads all the way down to 23, 23 to 33. I can't have 22. If I want 22 treads, I have to get rid of one of these, one of these lines right here. If I get one of these segments right here. So if I get one of the seg rid, of, rid of one of the segments, I can have 22 treads down to 12. I can't have 11. I have 12. And why is 11? Whatever. I'm just telling you, this is the magic. And uh, and if you watched Yusuf's video, uh, he explained this to me uh, verbally in his Ethiopian language. But uh, anyway, oh. hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. Back again, I had to do something. Anyway, so uh, I think I just explained to you what I'm doing. So now here comes the tricky part, right? Here comes the tricky part. Here it is, right here. Uh, by the way, let me just see if I know what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Uh, so two sets of stairs right here. I copy this. I Did you notice that I copied this over to here? And why did I do that? Because, because after I do this, the Yusuf staircase, I'm going to change it to a set of stairs from... Uh, 22 down to uh, 10. That's what I'm going to do. That's 10 minutes up. There's another 10 minutes. Here we go. This is what Yusuf would do. He would come over here. He'd select this and he'd uh, uh, turn this into an arc. He would he would grab this arc thing right here and he'd pull this over here like this. Look what just happened. And then he would come over here to write this and he'd select this and he'd, he'd turn this into a, an arc. And he he turned this thing over here too, and he's he, what, he, what he's doing is he's snapping to that uh, he's snapping to that circle that I I, I, I pre-built. Remember that six foot circle. Now notice how these 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 things stack up very nicely. You don't see any. They stack up very nicely. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to try when I try this the the the, uh, the two segments. I'm not sure if they stack up quite as nicely. That's the deal. Now I'm going to do one more. This is the final one. Turn into a uh, turn this into an arc. And so what I what what uh, what we've done is we have now created three runs of eleven treads. That's what we've done. Yo yo.
Ah, I want to lock the, uh, I want to lock the, uh, uh, I don't want to, I want the uh, eight inch risers, okay? They now have eight inch risers. And this is where Yusuf says, oh, that pretty darn good, huh? I got three sets of 11 treads. That's what I have. So now let's go ahead and let's start making this bigger. Uh, watch this. See, I'm starting to bring this in. See what I just did right here? Uh, cancel. Now what, what's happening here? Cancel. Now what's happening? I'm going to make this. I'm going to make this. 7-7. 7-7. I'm, 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 I'm going to make this so we can all see this really nice and party. Party. Uh, control L. Control L. Get my here. Uh, green risers. Red pickets, blue treads, and uh, orange stringers. Ooh, I hate those, those blue treads, don't you? Ooh. Ooh. It's got a better blue there. Okay, so here we go. This is what we just created, okay? This is this is this is a uh, useless method, and it's 33 treads. Oh, we got a problem up here. Look at this. See that that that, that extra whatever? Well, shit. Just just open up your open up your open up the UU. Open this up and uh, go to uh, style, and don't extend the stringer top. That's all you have to do. Boop. Uh, UU. Hey 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 hey. hey, hey style. Suppose I uh, don't stringer wall. I wait. Oh, I don't have a wall. Who cares? It, it didn't work. But what, this is what Yusuf would do. He'd go over here to style and he'd say uh, a single stringer. Watch this. Now I got the single stringer. Can I control the width of the stringer? No, I can't. But what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this? I'm going to tell you what's wrong with this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with this. And you guys can decide whether you want to use this method or not. Tab, 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 delete. Yeah. You can tell me what 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 what's what's bad about this. First of all, the uh, edge, these uh, treads aren't curved at the end. Maybe that's not a big deal for you. I don't care. What's another bad thing about it? Oh, by the way. Oh, now I can put I can put a post in the center. And by the way, look at this. Suppose suppose you want this this huge spiral stairs that are uh, that has a twenty foot outside uh, radius and a ten foot inside radius. There you go. You got it right there. You got you got. You got handrails on the on the inside and handrails on the outside, right? Well, maybe I'm not making a big big one. Maybe I'm making my six foot, which is what I'm doing. And so I come over to here and I go really on the right. No, right, uh, no. Ah, you see what I just did? I got rid of the railings on the right. Perfect. Okay. Now you're gonna say, well, I need to make it much tighter because I'm gonna have a pole right in the center, right? Okay. So you just come over here and you grab. I think you grab that right there. Okay, so now you essentially can put a post. You can put a post in the center, right? Not a big deal. Everything's okie dokie. And now you're going to tell me, wait a second. I do not want 33 treads. I want 22. Now, here's the tricky part. And this is where this is where uh, I learned something from you know who. Oh, God. Let me see if I can do this. I forgot how to. This is the. This is really a tricky part. Okay. You. What you have to do is you have to grab. You have to grab. Come straight down here, and it's going to be a square. And what you're grab. What you're doing is you're grabbing a a square node at the very top tread. I think that's what I'm trying to do. Let me see if I got the right one. Yeah, you see, I just got it. I just got, the, I got, oh, oh, control, oh, oh, control Z. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Houston's going to get mad at me on this. Watch this. You, 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 you. What I have to do is I have to lock the. Tread depth. Tread depth. I'm not locking the number of treads anymore because I'm changing the number of treads. This is a very important to understand. I'm not locking them because I'm going to get rid of the treads. Because remember, I've got 33 right now, and I want to go down to 32 and then 31. I want to go all the way down to 23 eventually, actually. So I'm locking the tread depth, which is a 30-degree angle. Riser height is 8. We can always change that later. So here we go. And it's a square. You have, to, you have to be very careful here. One. I'm going to get rid of one. I got rid of one. I got rid of one. 
I'm going to get rid of two. I got rid of two now. You can see what's happening. Uh, escape. I got the wrong button. I got the wrong button. I just know it. Yeah, and I think I think you will say if I, uh, look at this. Oh, oh, I just I got I got screwed. Oh, um, I think uh, you you. I, all I do eight inch riser. Look at this. Look at the number of treads. Eleven, eleven, and seven. Oh, okay, okay. So I got twenty two plus seven is. Uh, 29 so I've got rid of four treads already what so I wonder I wonder if I can come over here and say oh wait I only want four treads there but I want them to be all eight inch risers because because you can figure that out when you do a, a test strip okay now uh, Yusuf was t telling me to grab this little square and pull it around well I'm not going to grab the square because that's a big hassle I'm just going to say I want that many treads did that work for me no, can't do it that way. You got to do it Yusuf's way. You got to do it Yusuf's way. So here we go. I, I want to grab the little square on this top, this top tread right here. Here's the square. I'm going to get rid of three more treads. I think I got rid of three more treads. You, you, just so you can understand what's going on. Yeah, see, now I'm down to four. And I go ahead and change the riser height to eight again. Okay, perfect. Now I'm, I'm I want to get this is what what is my goal here? My goal is you you. My goal is to get down to 22, 23 treads. I'm gonna get down to twenty three treads. I think that's the minimum number I can get down to. Okay, I'm gonna get down to twenty three treads. Here we go. Seven seven. Grab that square. You just this is the tough part here one and you got to rotate it uh, to get rid of the treads I think I did it you you down to one you got me I'm down to one now perfect I, hey I don't know if you like this method but this is the use of this method and I thought the guy was a genius to come up with that with this so there you go that's use this method and I got down to 23 23 treads can I get down to 24 22 I don't know because there's really three you understand that with this set of stairs there are there are you you there are three sections see remember uh, Yusuf made three sections so when you make these sections each section is locked in the number of treads is locked it's locked into 11 it's 11 treads on each section because I have 12 treads in an overview if your steer company says there's there's 20, 20 treads in an overview, you know, in a, in a 360 degree angle, then I'd use 19 treads per section. How does Yusuf came up with this? I don't know, but he did it, and it works. So I think I just did this where you have uh, uh, 23 to 33 treads. 23 to 33. But we want 22 treads, or 21, or 19, or 18. Part three will be that. Will, will be that. Part three will be that. Oh, timer up. Ain't that magic? It's not. It might have been a 20-minute segment anyway. But uh, but just just so you know, and then I, I would turn this into a symbol, and I think uh, 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 Yusuf would agree with this. And uh, uh, I forget what it is. What, is, what uh, SW? Yeah. And so you just get rid of these uh, these uh, surfaces for your. Uh, you, you, you know what I'm doing. I'm getting rid of the surfaces and then turn it into a symbol and you're good to go. I mean, it's a nice. It's good. As, and, and but because I'm using a different material for each one for the handrail, the balusters and the pickets and the whatever, I can change that uh, on the fly once the symbol's made. Part three will be about getting from uh, 22 down to uh, 12 treads. You're not going to get any less than 12 treads. 